Hello. Hello. Welcome back. Welcome. And uh, don't be alarmed. We are sitting on opposite sides. Yes, on purpose. It's like, you know, and a deck, isn't it? We always need to be on the right side. You know. I've never noticed that with them. Oh, every, every time they're on telly, uh, they oh, have to be yeah. so people know and a deck. So I as you look at it, deck will always be on the right and is on the left. It's, Did it's not know weird. that. Weird. Oh yeah, yeah. It's weird. So it's like now people are going. Oh my God, Stuart. Why is this he on is the still left? Stuart. Yes. I am still on you. However, we are like in the doctor's waiting room because <laughs> I have got I got hay fever. Yeah, and he's dying with it. He's I, so ill. Oh my I, God. I, I, I've never no had drama. hay fever ever, <laughs> ever at all. Forty two. To be never fair, I've had never it. had it either. I don't. I grew up. Well, it's like a country. Bunking I know, it, yeah, so no problems at all. But sort of apparently, apparently today is wickedly high. Yeah. So I mean, I, I didn't know. I just my nose was streaming, and it's like I'm sure it's just a cold. But, but it's okay. He's been really stoic. He's not making a drama out of it at all. Nope, not not. So right, I'm armed with <laughs> tissue, and if I just turn my head out to cough, and yeah. then your Anya's on this side. Yes, because, because I'm deaf in this ear at the minute. Say again. <laughs> Um, no, yeah, so a bit of a cold yeah. and then into the blocked ear and then I flew and, and the ear got wedged. always happens after a cold as well, doesn't it? Because of your sinuses and everything. Yeah. yeah. So very annoying, but it is hopefully... So you've been putting the old drops in? Yes. Yeah. I do not like that. I don't like things touching my ears. I don't like things in oh, do my you ears. Oh, my oh. God, I do. I'm the opposite. It's like you no. put the drops in and it fizzes and it's like, oh, that's oh, no. so nice. Ooh, it gives me the heebies. I don't like oh. it. Stop touching my ears. Oh, well, that will clear soon. <laughs> Hopefully. Then get, yeah, if not, it'll be a couple more days. A <laughs> couple more days. <laughs> and then down to the nurse and she'll syringe it, won't she? Hopefully, if they will. Um, yeah. So, yes, yeah, so if I'm shouting, blame That's Stuart because he hasn't told me to keep We'll all be like this. <laughs> you what? Are you knitting? Do I have to do the accent? <laughs> <sighs> to be fair, I'm like that most of the time during the day. Deaf or the accent? Both, probably. <laughs> But yes. Oh. But it's good to have you back anyway, because you've been yes. away, haven't you? Yes, you had I've a nice been, time. I've been tripping away. Yes, I had lost some time. I was in the well, Netherlands. I loved watching your, your pictures. Yes. So you went, oh, I didn't I know you went to the Netherlands with before. work. Ah. And then I came back. And then I had a week of bedlam. And then I was away to Cork. Yeah. Oh. It was two weeks. Either way, that has happened Lovely. in between. We tend to sometimes record a few things together, so I can't oh, yes. remember. Yeah. But, um,. But yes. Cork was lovely. Well, the Cork pictures of you surfing. Amazing. You see her surfing. I went surfing. Yeah. And I actually could surf. Excuse me, I could surf. And I was right. turning, like I could turn right and then left and then right again. So proper standing up. Yeah. Two yeah. feet. Yeah. I was holding on to the edge of my board as I went this way. Yeah, pretty much. I had the music and everything going. Seemingly, I was like a kid at Christmas when I found it. Because I tried surfing in Bali. Yeah. Didn't click. And I just didn't enjoy it. Well, I did, but it wasn't as good as I had hoped. Yeah. Then went to Cork. But it clearly you... took Irish people going, you just do it like this. And yeah, I was like, yeah, oh, yeah. that makes sense. Yeah, yeah. And I got it. I was Brilliant. up on my first go and I was like, ah, oh, got this. Same when I was, I turned around, I was like, kid of Christmas. Oh, I don't, I'm, I don't mind swimming, uh, but I'm not a, a huge sea lover. So I don't think I'd ever be interested in surfing. No, I see, I'm a water baby. But I could do the thing that you hold on to <laughs> and the boat takes water you. Water ski. I think or so, yes. wakeboarding. Um, yeah, no water skiing probably. Or what's yeah. the one that you then and it takes you paragliding? Para, oh, where you then do that? that would be fabulous. <gasps> Parasailing, that would learning. really do. Yeah, that would excite me. But yeah. I think it's the surfing idea that you're going to end up falling off at some point. And oh, you know, don't even care. I had so much fun. It was awesome. The water was painfully cold. Oh, we were staying. So if yeah. you go check out my Instagram, I took a picture of where we were staying. We were able to go down onto the wee coves and the water in there. Oh. And wow. it was crystal clear. I mean, crystal clear. You could see it done. And it looked so inviting. So we decided to go for a swim. We had scuba tops on. And my board shorts on. And went into the water. And poor Simon was coming after me. And I was just, I went for the, go in quickly. Just get, yeah, get yeah, your just head go, in. Go. And, and get rid of those. Uh, yeah. Oh my God. It took the breath uh, out of me. I had yeah. to force myself to breathe into my tummy. I was like, <gasps> So where are we thinking? Uh, just uh, cork. cork. So right it never bottom. eats shredded wheat west. Southwest. Down the bottom. So it is the nice part then. Cause you're yeah. Just, yeah. Um, well, I say so nice part, as in water-wise. Yeah, we were staying in a place called Glandor. Mm. Which is just beautiful. So tiny wee village. Yeah. Fabulous. Oh. Such good food. Oh, the food. 
amazing. So I had a lush time, but I was without... Um, we did have a TV, but we didn't really have it turned on because it's noisy and yeah. antisocial. And we had no internet. Oh, so you were just freed up? Completely. It's it incredible. Amazing. I know the first, whenever if, if it's something to you, I know it's something to me, when you go away and there is no Wi-Fi, that, those first sort of 25 minutes... Of panic. <laughs> yeah. I can't check it. I can't go on my phone and you keep looking. But then you yeah. go past that when you, you resign yourself to the fact that, right, there's no Wi-Fi now, no 3G. Yeah. And then you just find a different life again. It was amazing. You just knit without having to check every 15 minutes or when you go and make a cup of tea, you don't check your phone. Yeah. I actually you read... You stop being a slave, I think. Big time. I actually got a book on the airport, John Connolly. I'm a John Connolly fan. And his latest, latest book is like a tome. It's this. Oh, wow. It's a big, huge thing. And I'm actually three quarters way through it. Oh, wow. So I inhaled it that week. But I also did lots of projects. So... So shall I show, show you my yeah, yeah, yeah. I didn't bring my knitting with me because it's kind of huge. That's and it big, yeah. took up too much space in my suitcase. But you've got them in this now. I'm loving yes. this. So what do you... Look at this. My first project bag that I made myself. So I made this from all the recycled things. Oh, so, Anya, that is cool. Yeah. That's made from an old coat, an old t-shirt and some offcuts. Oh, brilliant. So you can Love sing it. that over your shoulder. I'm going to say, yes, we're, <laughs> we're laughing about that. Like I feel like I'm Dick Whittington with my... <laughs> My, my, my knapsack. Yeah. I just need my little pole, don't I? And <laughs> oh, my yeah. little I'm like, and your banana uh, to follow me. Oh yes. Yeah, black cat, isn't it? Um. So yes, I, I love made it. this up before I went. Um. That week of may mayhem, my brain was melted, so I ended up making myself a bag, as you do. This is. I'll show you the bag first. But it is a perfect project bag size. Yes. You just want one project in there, or yes. maybe two. It's if nice you like and do small. It, if you're a, a sock knitter, that's your ball of wool in there, or like yeah. you've got your. Your cake in there. Yeah. I was inspired by my friend. She has a beautiful bag, this kind of colour. And I was like, well, I'm going to do it. So I found a really simple, I don't know if it's called a, I said it was a pattern. And then Gemma's like, it's more instructions on you. It's got like four sentences on it. And that's right. it. Um, but Well, it's a nice easy pattern then, isn't it? So simple. So it did start off this way up. I did was making a bag like this and it didn't have any bottom on it or anything. So I unpicked it. Oh, no, that's a definitely better going yeah. sort of horizontally rather yeah, than... Yeah, makes it an actual proper bag. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Um, and this is from an old coat, and the pocket is also from the coat. It's a coat pocket. So I unpicked it, and you can kind of see where the previous coat pocket oh, yeah, was. Yeah. Um, and then... Oh, you've lined it as well. Yeah, but look what I lined it. I'm so chic. Chic. Brilliant. <laughs> so yes, made that. Um, and that brought my little project with me. So I have been working on a virus shawl. Ugh. Oh. Now that is a good pattern. If if you haven't done it, fully recommend it. Crochet pattern. Yep. Good. And it's good actually pattern. a really easy pattern. I struggled initially because I found a pattern, sadly, that had uh, has a typo in it, uh, and right. I might just let her know it's got a typo in it. Actually, just so. Oh yeah, because otherwise. Other people. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Um. So I sadly, I know it has a thing in it because I ended up trying to unpick it first time, and because of the type of yarn I'm using. It basically broke. Um, oh yeah, it's a it's a single. Um, uh, yeah, so single ply. So if you pull that too much, that's just gonna. Yeah. Because it's not been spun. And or as you unpick as, it as well, it yeah, felt. Yeah. yeah. So it's all bunched together, sadly. But. Oh, so you have to restart. That's just a nice gonna be a nice uh, something for my coffee cup. So I restarted, and then I discovered a pattern See, with the right one. It is phenomenal because that that's a general pattern. Yet that yarn. The colours are, are there in the Vs. Yeah, in the fact. It just matches. And I wasn't going to actually do a virus show with this because this particular thing comes with a pattern in the inside. Um, this is this particular yarn. comes with a pattern in the... Oh, on the ball band. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nice little free pattern. what? Ball oh. band. Okay. <laughs> this is something else. Moving oh, it's on. it's So, <laughs> I know I just misheard you. I'm slightly down. Oh, sorry. Yes. <laughs> yes. Ball band. <laughs> But Jen, the lovely Jen, um, said you should do a virus with that. Yes, she's done several. So yeah, I, I wouldn't be surprised if she sat at home now doing another one. Yeah. So <laughs> I took her advice and I'm doing my little virus. Um, I'm not sure it's... I'd probably be much further along if I hadn't unpicked twice. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but because I did sort of start and stop and then got fed up and wandered off. But it's so easy to do. It's That's... a great, uh, what is it, four? Four yeah. pattern repeat? Four yeah. row pattern repeat? Something like that. But that's good. that's a one ball project. These cakes, so that will be a nice size. What? Well, yeah. yeah, about but, about my <laughs> about my like that size. Yeah. Meter, Darren. Yeah, 
and I'm going to wear it like that so I can wrap it around and have the tail. It is your colouring as well. Sure. It's fabulous. So I really, really like but it. But it is a popular pattern. Uh, there are loads of videos on the, the virus. Yes. Yeah, the, I, I'm sure a video would have been really useful, but the lack of internet meant. Oh yes, of course. I, I yeah. had the pattern. I downloaded yeah, it onto yeah. my phone. <laughs> oh god, a bummer that it was a misprint yeah, on there. I though. know, but you know, live and learn. Um, Do you have a nice view in the house? Or oh yeah. Was... Oh, Did you not see the pictures? Oh, oh no, but I saw the I, I saw the scenery, but that literally. That was the view from the living room. <gasps> so I was sitting at the window. Oh my with god. With the log burner going oh, in the evening. Oh, you know there is just. Lush. Oh my yeah. god, it was When we go lush. to the Lake District, um, there is a, a nice, I know it's in a, a block of flats, but they are nice flats. Yeah. But the point is, the flats overlook Windermere. And your the living room has the patio doors. And so you're sat on the settee with the patio doors in front of you, and you just see Windermere and the boats coming in at the harbour. And oh, I think lush. the view, if you get a place like that with a view. Yeah. You, that can just do wonders for you. Oh, it was fabulous. Let alone where, wherever, wherever you go on holiday, yeah. as in what you do that day, coming home to that view every Oh, day. it was amazing. Oh. I would love to have stayed a week longer because it took me about to the end of the week to actually switch off completely. Yeah, yeah. To you, defuzz. Yeah. So I'm like, Especially next time we're doing going. stuff before. Yeah, because I've been frantic busy and yeah. various life things. And then I was like, okay, on holidays. And it took me until almost the end of the week before I was like, Oh. Yeah, yeah, and that's sometimes the problem with holidays, isn't it? Is that you then try and put too many things within the holiday. Yeah. So, like, you had your surfing, didn't you? And yeah. you've got to do that, and you've got to do that. Yeah. When actually, we were... sometimes all you just want to do is go to the house and just stay down. on the settee. Yeah. With we your log burner. Good. We sort of sent because people kept going out. To <laughs> Sorry. <It's> so dramatic. <laughs> cough, cough. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> be, be better now. Okay. But that's, that was the thing, because some people were going out for dinner a lot of the evenings and stuff, and I was like, I actually would be one on our last evening there. I was like, can we just stay in some yeah. time and got pizzas, and we put pizza in the that's oven. That's all you want to do. Put the fire yeah. on, and it was just <sighs> glorious. And it was so quiet. Yeah. It was amazing. I just loved the quiet and the peace. And and then, look at that, doing yeah. that sort of stuff. Inhaled books. Yeah. Oh, yeah. My other little project. Oh, yeah, what's this? <laughs> this is meant for children. I do not care. Oh, it doesn't matter. No, it's just, craft. I'm making a llama. <laughs> Cross stitch and a llama. Oh, so, oh, cool. Yeah, this is the llama's body yeah. part and it's four wee legs. So I have to do the the seat. What's it called? The saddle. Saddle. Yeah. I knew you're here for a reason. <laughs> and then <laughs> it's got a neck thing, and then it's got its head and neck here. But I've done the. It's very oh, yeah. basic. Very very Aww. basic. Yeah, but it didn't matter. But it's it was so nice just to sit there. Yeah. Cross stitching. And you notice, excuse me, one thing I did want to point out, you can see where I started. And then I was like, oh, this should all be going the same way. So yes. I now have it yeah, all yeah, going yeah, the same yeah. way. Yeah. Yeah. So your and crosses are all, your slants are going up. Yeah. yeah. So I was quite pleased with that. But yeah, so that's, and my llama is well underway. And I will, whenever I finish it, it will just be propped up in my craft room somewhere. Because that's my only annoyance. It is plastic. So if it was fabric, at least I could do something. Yeah, but you've got to start somewhere, haven't you? And yeah. that's a, you know. And it's a fun one to sometimes do. Sometimes with the kids stuff is is, is the best place to start, isn't it? Yeah. Because it's aimed at and kids. It it's like me with learning a language. I just learned with the very basics the, with the kid books. No, oh, the, like the, the books that mum would read to little. Oh, go on. Yeah. <gasps> that's clever though. Well, it's just a good way of doing it, isn't it? So buy kid stuff and start there. Yeah, yeah. it's not it's not like you are a big kid or anything. <laughs> But no, yes, so no I've been doing up. this. And Love it was it. good because it didn't require too much brain thought. No. Again, a nice one to do of an evening. No, because there are, I mean, there, it's great having projects and knitting projects, but sometimes when they get complicated, it then becomes... Yeah, too much brain. Because that's why work. I got fed up with this, because I had to unpick it twice, and I was like, I'm just done. And then I came back to it a few days later, and it was like, okay, fine. Yeah. But, yeah. Because Man Mandy's doing a project. She was here today, actually. It's nice. Mandy. It was a nice day today. Yeah. We had... Uh, I mean, it's quiet, but it's beautifully sunny. So yes, with the door the open, day. we had Dot in doing free motion embroidery. Mm. So we had four ladies in here doing a class. What did they do? Um, oh, it was really clever. So it's free motion embroidery. So your feed dogs are down on your sewing machine and you have this special foot uh, where you basically you, f you can freely move your fabric. Yes to any direction and yeah. draw with it. But they were doing it with a laminate, laminated pouch. So a normal laminator. Yes. So just get a, a laminated pouch, put in 
uh, maybe tissue paper or really light coloured paper. Uh -huh. um, and just different shapes. So they were cutting out like squares, rectangles. And it was kind of like a to, to be an abstract representation of a vase of flowers. Okay. So sort of like lots of bits of card paper there in the laminating pouch. Put it through the laminator. Yes. So then the laminated pouch is then sealed. And you know what it does when it comes out the other end. It always looks lovely and glossy then, doesn't yes, it? Yes, for sure. So the, so the bits of paper uh, are now sealed in and look beautiful. Yeah. You then cut cut it down. So they had bits of paper all, all randomly like that. Uh -huh. And then you put it through the sewing machine with your beautiful colour metallic thread. And then free motion over it. Oh, wow. And kind of draw the flowers. So people were drawing sea heads. And of oh. course... You then, the, the colour of the paper that is in laminated then shows through too. Yes. Did you get any Great. pictures? I want to see it. I did, yeah. <gasps> I put some. Yeah. Is it on Instagram? It's uh, on Instagram or we'll, we'll, I'll send them to you and you can do your magic and yes, cut and them in. Yes, and we can see them in. <gasps> cut them in fabulous. here. Oh, I'll leave that, that as a like, note. Um, that sounds like a fun. So what would you do with that? Should you do? Um, they were then, it was really clever. You know handmade cards? You can buy blank cards. Yes. But um, Dot had bought blank cards with the, with the front, uh, they call them aperture, aperture cards. Uh, the, the, the window, the like a yes, window. Yes, so yes, there was yes, an, empty, yes. an empty square. So they were then putting the laminated free motion embroidery bit behind the, the, the window and making a homemade card. How fabulous. Oh, my word. And some of these ladies who were here today had never free motioned. No, it's something before. I'd love to try at some point. Oh. But... but of course, it's, you know, you get, you, you're going up and down and you're moving it around. So you're getting all these lovely sort of leaf patterns and, and lines. And that's clever being able to do that because it's like being able to draw a picture without stopping your line. Yes. You know, that kind yeah, of yeah, way. Yeah. And it's, it's knowing how to go with it yeah. in the right way. Um, and that was just lovely. So they were doing that here. Uh, me and Mandy were at the front of the shop um, knitting and she was working on a project. She was working on a difficult project. So that's what, how, what oh, really? uh, reminded me what you were just talking about. Sometimes And they must you're be knitting... very difficult if Mandy's oh, yeah, difficult. It's right, yeah. I mean, there were cables galore, l like, you know, little cable, big cable, twisty big cable in the middle, another little cable, another big cable. Oh. So she must have knitted about two inches yeah. in the th three hours that she was at the that's shop. That's tough going. I see when that's another thing. When we were in Cork, we went to various little towns nearby. Oh, the amount of beautiful knits. Oh. Obviously. Yeah, yeah. And I was just like, right, I want to learn how to knit all of these. Yeah. So that's why I'm like, I'm going to have to practice. You so I've been working on my project. I've got three inches left, people. But that's a nice project to do. I mean, I know it's you didn't take it because of, of the size, but you're now just, you're just stocking stitch, aren't you? You're just going yeah. round and round and round and round. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And sometimes you just want that. You don't, and as Mandy said, oh, well, I, I can't do any more because the, the, the cable is too complicated. And, and you don't really want to take those kind of patterns on holiday, Oh, no, you? most definitely not. Like, yeah. if this had a fitted, if I had space in my luggage, I would have taken yeah. this just to finish it, but... It's too bulky. At the but minute. it was, uh, yeah, it was lovely. So we just chilled out knitting and I, I was knitting and I. Oh, Let me see your jumper. It's looking fabulous, I have, I have nearly, to say. Nearly finished it. I'm so excited, people. Hood, half a hood, because that's how you do it. So you're but... not done with the hood, you're only done with half the hood. Yeah. <laughs> no. <gasps> Sleeve. I am loving how this is looking. It, I am actually really, really pleased. Yeah, and that really suits your colouring. That's really nice. The fit, Vince, uh, you you're spot on there with the uh, the sizes and the uh, the ease of it. Yeah. Uh, it fits brilliant, and uh, I won't put it on yet, but uh, I want to save it now. No yeah. more pictures. No more pictures. Yes. If you check out Mandy's Instagram, you might see a picture. Oh yes, I did have it on earlier. Yeah, yes, yeah, yeah. but there are no more fittings. No more no fittings. No more fittings <laughs> until the end. Uh, and then I'll have a, a nice posh photo shoot. Well, actually, we're both going to try and do yes. some good photos. Aren't we? I panicked. I thought we were yeah. going to have to have these done by this recording. And Stuart was like, no, it's too lie. And I was like, oh, but, um, God, for that. <coughs> excuse me. Cough, really, cough, 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 cough. Really, really <laughs> pleased with it. Um, and uh, my, my sewing up. I'm pleased with my sewing up, too. Look at you. Um, yeah. But, you did, uh, you've done a really good job. So I'll be looking forward to wearing that with a pair of... 
denim jeans, a pair of boots would look good, wouldn't oh, it? That would be lovely. Oh. We're going to be sweltering taking pictures. We will, but... But uh, it'll be worth it. But, uh, uh, and the wool has come out really, really well. Yeah. This is just... Uh, we were talking about it before. This is Wensleydale. And Wensleydale. Cheese. Classic, classic British wool. Uh, I can kind of bear that on the skin. But I think I'd have to wear a long sleeve t-shirt underneath. Yeah. But that's what you're going to be wearing it in winter anyway, so it'd be perfect yeah. for it. Yeah, hiking up a mountain in that. <gasps> you're going to be snug. Oh, God, yes. And I'm loving the fact that it's got a hood. I really want to make uh, a hood yeah. type thing soon. Yeah, really pleased. So, yeah, nice one, Vince. Uh, and um, nearly there, so uh, that would be great. Uh, and and the hood is actually... I know there are some. there is some shaping, but once you... It's like... Uh, this section is five rows and repeat that seven times and yeah. that's you know it's stocking stitch so uh, you can kind of switch off a bit for that yeah but I, so me and mandy were just sat there doing that today really really nice sun shining perfect. through door open they yeah. were creating in here and and that's when you just think lush. oh what a lovely day yeah lovely day Sounds lush. i have a question actually while oh, we're cool. here so i'm knitting on the round on the cable and you can see the cable is maybe a bit more like so the cable is a bit too big for the stitches on there maybe uh How, would you, you need a shorter cable? cable yeah or you need to do what we call magic loop which is where you would fold it in half and pull out the excess cable and you knit that half turn it around ah. and you knit that half that's all it is so what i was doing on here Thank you, because like, there's bound to be a clever way of doing this, yes. but it kind of was doing that naturally itself, and I thought, I wonder, is yeah. that the way so you're supposed to just do it? It would be, I don't think I can show you one here now. So, uh, it's it's kind of the wrong, I think it's the wrong name for it, really, Magic Loop, because it I, it, it doesn't seem a fitting name. So, uh, say that was our, our circle. Yeah. You would bend it in half, pull out the excess cable... Okay, so I'm now ready to start, pull out that needle and I start knitting like that. So you end up with loops both sides. So that's your excess oh, cable. So, should so, I I'm, so you could, uh, you, you can't really do it now because your cable isn't big enough. Right. Uh, so I would then knit that half of the sleeve. When I get to the end, just remove the cable round and knit the other half. Oh. And that's how I did my sleeves on this pattern. Okay. But it's just a bit of a faff sometimes because you're constantly having, you do half. It's like, think of the circle uh, or clock face, 12 to six. Yes. You do 12 to six, turn it round, six to 12. Oh. 12 to six. So uh, you're constantly. Oh yeah, and that can be a bit of a faff. Yeah. So at one point I was thinking, oh, can I not just go right down to a really small circle just so I can knit in the round like you are? Yeah. Well, it was just because I was thinking I was sitting here doing it and I was like, yeah. this is a bit weird. I wasn't sure if it was going to be stretching the yarn by doing... I, I think you're getting away with it there anyway. Yeah. But if it was any uh, any tighter, then yeah, that would... You'd see your, you know, the stretch needles, uh, the stitches like that. But you're not in that position, so you're all right. Okay. But yeah, it's there called go, Magic Robin. Loop. Magic Loop. So... Awesome. <laughs> Excuse me. So we've caught up in that. Yes. What else has been going on? There's a rather nice. Yeah. Look at us. this. So we finally, um, lovely Jan from our Thursday knit in Natta. She did the tea cozies. She did. Yes. Good memory. Yes. Yeah. Um, she's knitted this, uh, a lovely pattern. Uh, this is a pattern called Lola. Um, it's an old pattern actually from last winter's uh, Adrafil book. Uh, do you not have a fancy way of saying that, no? Uh, uh, probably. <laughs> um, so you can uh, you can uh, Google the pattern for, uh, called Lola. But look, a simple, just, what, summer pullover, would you call yeah. that? That's just, it's perfect for when the evenings get a yeah. bit chilly, so you've been out and about, or you're With doing whatever. a little bit of, like, lace work at the bottom. Beautiful. And that detail, then, is on the sleeve. And I love the wee bit of metal. It just brightens it, doesn't it? Doesn't it? it? But it's... It's quite it's discreet and subtle. It's because when you see it on the ball, I think a lot of the customers have gone, "Ooh, Ooh. it looks a bit too bling-like." Yeah, but no, not but when it's knitted up. You can't see it there, can you? <gasps> but how soft is that? It's so nice. And it's so nice and light. Yeah. It's perfect Some just to can. add that, just to add an extra layer when you need it. So that's gone down really well because you know what it's like when you're in a in a shop. And I know we don't do this enough, but um, there are other knitting shops who I follow. 
Um, yeah. Two lovely. Have I talked to you about the two lovely ladies at um, a shop in Canada? I think they're in Montreal. Um, they're always doing knitted samples to the point where I think they're, only, they're now designing their own samples. But they have loads of knitted samples on show in the shop. And it is great Perfect. because you see it knitted up and you go, I want one. Yeah. And then what do you then do? You, you buy the buy. yarn. Yeah. So sometimes, we, as you say, with, with yarn in that particular sense, where people are put, a bit put off by... Indeed. But when they, they see, see it, it like, see it knitted up. Um, and I know I'm like that when I'm going round. Uh, well, that's why when you go in a clothes shop and you see the the jumper on the model in the window, you go, I want oh, that, I want and you that. go in. Yeah. Um, it's just time, though, isn't it? It's time getting it knitted up. Uh, yeah. You, you, you don't really some companies give you the money back for the yarn um, but with that I was really lucky and I just said Jan can I borrow it please for a couple of days to have on the model yes and it, wasn't that good and it helps the sales yeah that's really so, good thank you Jan yeah thank you Jan um, so, that's uh, really good and we have other excitement going on behind us I'm not oh, happy yes. you're all right there Stuart yeah yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. he's going to start um, coughing in a minute to fall down oh, my, my dying uh, so oh what... don't die <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> he's going to uh, cough Hand, natural hand dyeing. So what was it? Episode seven? We talked about lavender and blue and yeah. the idea of what I was going to do. And I think I only had a couple of hanks to show. Is that what they're called? Hanks? Hanks. That just makes so, me think of eh? food. Does hank it? of something. Oh, oh I'm right. thinking of shank, aren't I? But... Shank. Well, that's close. <laughs> so yes, a hank like that. That's called a hank. Oh. Yeah. I thought that was something else. Skein? Yes. Yeah, now this is where there is some argument. Um, uh, some people will say a skein is when it's then twisted. Like this. Like that. <laughs> but that to me is still a hank. I got taught that a, a, a skein is one of those that's not technically a ball. Because it's not a ball. It's like a, a that's like a, a oh, capsule. Right. Oh, yes. You know, like a. A tablet, a yes, tablet. Is, yeah. So I was taught that was a skein, uh -huh. and a ball of wool is the classic round ball of wool. Oh. But some people do, as I say, say that uh, that's a skein. Uh, what do you lot think? Um, maybe you can tell us. Yeah. Uh, Be interesting is it, to hear. Is it just one of those things? But a uh, a hank. So I've done loads, and I've now had what. Three Mondays closed where I've been at my mum's in the countryside. Um, dying as well. In the middle of nowhere. Um, dying outside because obviously you need to. Be we've had some beautiful sunny days. Yeah. And I, I've rushed. really, really getting the hang of it now, getting confident with it because, it because it is sort of so random based with time. Uh, and uh, getting the pH level and everything, it's, it's sometimes it, you can get yeah. dead in blues. That's beautiful. And then sometimes you get, you know, the sky blues. I mean, look at these. Look They're that just for a amazing. <gasps> You've done such a good job. Yeah. Now that one was lighter because it was at the end of the dive act. So a lot of the 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 dye was exhausted from. The first uh, dip, second dip, and third dip, where there's not much woad left. Mm. Uh, and then and I was thinking, oh, that's a shame. I might have to re-dip this. But actually, it's... No, it's quite nice. I think, and I think, well, it adds choice, doesn't it? Because yeah. I think some people might go, I want the light one. Or some people might go, actually, I want, which I've now started to see on Instagram quite a lot. I actually want to do a, what we call a fade and make a shawl out of that wouldn't that be lush so you know your your yes. thing that, it, that it's been cleverly changing through colour yeah we well, you get those <gasps> that'd be fabulous so we'll do some proper yeah. um close-ups um, as well of this so you can have a proper nosy for, for the people oh oh excuse yeah. me he's always making some sort of noise people honest to god but <laughs> I, so every time I've done it, so I've had so yeah, three or four Mondays now uh, where I'm where I'm dying it and I've been writing little notes. Oh, yeah. And I feel like I've got like a you know little diary of, right, this day I added two teaspoons. Uh, then the next day I added three teaspoons. Uh, and now I feel I've got my recipe 
right with how much woad. Yes. How much um, soda ash, which pushes the pH level up. Oh, right. To an alkaline. Yeah. You could use loads of things, actually. Not you haven't been peeing in get, buckets. No, no, you uh, you can do that. Um, I was after that conversation that, that we had. <laughs> and I, if I wanted to be really, really true to what they were doing in the 16th century, you would use urine. Yeah. But I, I think I can't. I haven't got the time. The business, you know, <laughs> would uh, probably I save some it, money. Yeah. But, I don't think people would appreciate the traditional way of doing it. But it's nice to talk about uh, this is how it would have been done, but actually yeah. we're just using a chemical. But there are actually other natural ways. Now, big shout out to, I don't know if you're interested in hand dyeing or any of you are interested in certainly natural hand dyeing. Um, sea Spell Fibre. I'll put the link in the description. Been following her on Instagram because she's a natural hand dyer where she uses natural plants uh -huh. so like woad uh japanese indigo madder root uh hibiscus all sorts of other plants yes um and i've been following her because she's well into indigo and woad yeah and uh her instagram feed is fabulous some I of the to, stuff that she's been dying but she's been wonderful as are all of you on instagram with giving advice yes or just giving just feedback so i messaged her to say oh how did you get your i think it was just something how did you get your woad so blue um and then she was saying well because it was this well because it was this i had this and then suddenly i got a wealth of of tips wow because there are so many That's things so you could use of people. Oh, I love so it. so I love she it. was telling me uh because they call it um so right, right so lavender uh woad is on, only really works when there's no oxygen in the vat. It won't cling, oh, yes, it won't yes, die yes, anything. Yes, 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 yes. So just imagine it, you know why I said it's like a, it creates a physical bond? Yeah. It will only physically really work when there's, okay. when, when there's no <laughs> oxygen in there. So yeah. how do you get rid of the oxygen? Yeah. 16th century, they used use urine. We're yeah. in the 21st century, so I'm using a chemical uh -huh. quicker. You haven't got to wait like three days. What does she use then if she's doing it well, naturally? Uh, this is what she was saying. Bananas. Pardon? Yeah. It's, um, am I saying banana it's or banana skin? Uh, I, that I don't know. I think it's the whole banana, but I don't, I don't know. Oh, poor banana. It's, um, oh, banana. <laughs> um, <Cat>. It's, uh, <laughs> sugars. It's that, it's that. Yeah, well, stuff that will potassium. I think that might be one of them. Oh, gosh, because because bananas check. are good for potassium. If you have muscle cramps right. and shakes and things, you eat bananas. But it was one of a list of things that you could Reducing. use to what what she said, and this is where I've learned is it's a reducer. So I'm using a chemical to reduce the oxygen. Yes. And she said you can then use other natural substances. Um, uh, you could use bananas. That's clever. People are clever. Yeah. And she gave me a whole list of things to use. And I'm thinking, do you know what? Actually, maybe that will be something I perhaps look at next year. But uh, yes. So this is Blue Face Lester. And I love that. <gasps> Classic love British yarn. Uh, I love it. Great for warmth. It's not too rough. Because um, this is, I think this is lovely and lovely. soft. Yeah, I, it's I really not too like bad. Because you have, I call that kind of kinky. Yeah, because this is a merino, and it's a it's classic kinky because it's a merino single. So kinky. it's where Sorry. it's 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 what we were saying before. It's 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 how it's been plied together with one single yes. twist, nothing else. Um, and it's beautifully soft. That's the merino. Um, but this is commercial undyed yarn, which I can buy as a business. Yes, and dye it, but. I don't know whether there's anything magic about buying merino. No, not when, as you say, it's... I can get that anywhere, merino. merino. Yeah. Um, is it... it uh, it's not uniquely local. No, to... and that's where I, I think I've decided... I think if, if tourists are coming to buy yarn from a, from a you know, local yarn well, shop... Well, if you're going to go want... specifically for lavender and blue, you kind of want the yarn to be local as well. As, 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 as we can. Yeah. So... You can't get By any local, localer. I mean... Well, you can't get any local than this. Any more local or localer? Localer. 
Are you looking? This <laughs> is. You'll just want to go to sleep on this. Oh really? Yeah. Right. Like, <gasps> this is oh. Guido. Oh. Guido the alpaca. Oh my good gravy. From a field. Two miles down the road. Guido. Yeah. Oh, it is incredibly soft. All Guido. Incredibly soft. And this is where I think... If I didn't have makeup on my face, I would be putting my face in this. I. This is where I think That's what amazing. is wonderful about our area. And I think this is what will push oh, Lavin and so Blue in, a, in the direction that people that are, that I'll want and that I think the... The tourists will want. So this is that is so so. Guido the alpaca, who lives in a field. That's his fleece. <laughs> a bit worried if he lived in a house. <laughs> yeah. Just saying. Thirty miles up the road to have it spun. Yeah. Thirty miles back. To so here. minimal air miles. Minimal, tiny amount, and then hand dyed by me. With woad, oh, natural. Wow. Have you got this online yet? No, 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 no. Well, I'm still, I'm still, and I know I've got some people banging at the door saying we want to buy lavender blue. Uh, I know I'm, I'm trying to use the summer to get everything get together. Get stock up, basically. Yeah, I'm getting uh, proper yes, ball yes. bands designed. <laughs> I'm partially deaf. I'm hoping he has said ball what I thought. bands. Okay, good. Um, getting that designed because we want it's a, it is a high end yarn. Yeah. You know, the amount of work that's gone into it. Of course. But also I think actually that, yes, it will cost a lot. It might be £30 a hank. But as you say, a lot but has gone into that's it. Not gonna, you're not going to find that anywhere. That no. is Suffolk yarn. or it, Well, it's yarn from an alpaca in Suffolk. Died by... It hasn't gone to... It hasn't come from Peru or it hasn't come it's from Australia. It's not either. Yeah, indeed. So I think that's, that's what I want to try and do more of. So I've spoken to a couple of sh local shepherds where nah. I've got, yeah, where I've got about 20 kilograms of fleeces. The trouble is you just got to pay for that and it's an extortionate amount to get it spun. Mm. Uh, but I think in the long run, it will be worth it because... Yeah. It makes it unique to here. You could probably put then on the label, like I, I will try with this, uh, you could put the farm address and yeah. the sheep's... Or she, the llama's the name. Llama's name. Alpaca's name. Sorry. Guido. Yeah, Guido. And isn't How there cool something is quite personal about that? That's amazing. A product wise. That's absolutely amazing. It's much more if we're talking about all the sustainable and recycle and re Exactly. It's, and it's that's amazing. what we want, isn't it? Yeah. You know, woad, natural plant. There is hardly any evil process. I know you could argue the reducer is a chemical, but But that's minimal compared to indeed. everything else. Yeah. Compared to what yeah. you buy commercially. Yeah. Yeah, because some of the yarn, and, and you know, it's, it was spun in Nepal. And yes, they have great practices like Nipro, who are making stuff in India, and they're mm. supporting, you know, uh, Indian people with work and jobs. Oh, yes, and that is very much amazing. It is, but this is just as this yeah. is fabulous. So really, really excited. So uh, that is it, it does make it more ex more expensive. Yes, you know, but as you say, you can buy merino anywhere. Yeah. And, and would you want to go home with the merino? spun and hand dyed yeah i suppose you know it's hand dyed but it's merino or would you want to go home if you came from the states and you were on holiday here would you want to go home with something local. something that was in came the field next the road. yeah that's right that's amazing the st it's, i think it's the story isn't it so really pleased and you know look at all these lovely walls here we're gonna we'll do a proper close-up just in case he decides to take this down yeah. and everything falls over it's those lovely little bits of Dark denim. So I'm really, really excited. <gasps> really excited. And it's been so nice on a Monday, not coming to work, but I'm still working. But you're working, I do other things. In a field, yeah. With a big fat, hanging it up to dry. This was dry in minutes, hanging that on the line. Oh, it's so With my nice mum. Weather. My mum's there Having doing her furniture tea, stuff. For coffee. Yeah, let's break for lunch, then do a bit more work. Do you want a cup of tea, mum, for like halfway oh, through in the afternoon? That's quite nice. And it's now ritual every Monday. That's really nice. So Thank really, you. really pleased. We now so, have a bundle of this, so we'll take some close oh, That's great, isn't it? Yeah. <gasps> Beautiful blue. So yeah, I've been really busy. It's fabulous. But do you know what has also been nice? It's just been learning a new technique. You know, if it's that teacher in us, isn't it? We like learning, don't we? Doing something new. I think that's just, yeah. They the reckon the day you stop learning is the day you die, kind of thing. You know what I mean? 
Yeah, you know, never never a dull moment. So it's uh, really it's good. So exciting time. Good. So, yeah, keep... Uh, you'll always be the first to know when the Lavender Blue is ready and on sale. It, we will put it online. I know a couple of um, American followers... Have asked. Have asked, yeah. Before we finish up, because our battery's flashing at us, I've just realised... I just want to say a quick thank you to Sue who dropped this in for me. Oh, yes, she did. I she? got a message from yes. Stuart saying I've got a thing yeah, for you. Yeah, a present for you. So this has come in. Yeah, so we nice. were talking about sustainable and all this kind of jazz. Yeah. So people would have seen a uh, recent TV show about single-use wipes and how much oh, plastic yes. there is yeah, in them and yeah, how bad really... it is. And people are now using face cloth more and whatever else. So I will definitely yeah, be making thing. face cloth out of this. Thank you so much. Such a generous gift. Thank you massively. Very much appreciated. Well, we were saying earlier, weren't we, just the, the generosity of of people, you it's know, leaving real. comments on the blog, saying nice things. Vlog. You know, oh, vlog, yeah. Um, yeah. And uh, what about my overlocker? <gasps> what? My overlocker that a customer gave me. Go way on. I know. Yeah. Unbelievable. Yeah. If that overlocker needs a good home, well, <laughs> I may have to borrow it. You could it. use it, yeah. yeah well, yeah. it would just be here in the shop. Oh, but that's yes, our yes, customer. Yes, yes. That was a customer here who gave me an overlocker. Stuart, would you like an overlocker? I was like, oh, yeah, oh, I'm moving house. Yes, I don't really want to take it. <gasps> yeah, don't really want to take it to my next house. That's so she, amazing. I said, yeah. So, but that's like Sue with that. Yeah. Amazing. But yes, thank you so much. And it's my kind yeah. of colours as well. Which is awesome. And people are doing loads of those. I mean, yes. I've got loads of unbleached cottons Versions. that yeah, people yeah. just crocheting up flannels with it's brilliant it's amazing it's absolutely amazing but yes yep. that's we've covered lots of excitement yeah, this time brilliant. as always All thank you and thank you for your comments we love reading your comments yes. some of you love reading writing long comments which we love I don't love. ever apologise for doing that we have so no. a lovely lady who's like I'm oh, sorry I've written you an essay and I was like I, yeah, love, I love it I love Angela's comments well so, I love all the comments yeah, it's just great it. I'm not even going to pretend I forget names so much at the minute so I blame the ear but <laughs> Just gonna nod and smile. Nod well, and I haven't smile. sneezed yet, so that's quite good. But I am a bit. Thank you for sharing. We we survived half an hour without. I have to sit beside this people. God. <laughs> 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 Make me laugh. Oh. So dramatic. Oh. But yes. Yes. So um, thanks, thanks for being up with watching. us. Yeah, and we'll see you in a couple of weeks' time. Yes. Bye. Bye.